Good afternoon and welcome. Thank you all very much for joining us today. My name is Rebecca Russell and I am a patient education specialist with PMD Healthcare. Today's webinar topic is how to use Spiro PD. So for those of you who have Spiro PD, those of you who are thinking about getting one, or for those of you who would just like a little bit more information, we'll talk about what Spiro PD is and how to go about using one. So Spiro PD is truly the world's first most personal spirometer. It empowers patients with lung disease to easily and accurately monitor their lung function anytime and anywhere. So whether you're at work or home, school, maybe you're wondering if your child should participate in a soccer game later on today. You can monitor your lung function and be able to tell the severity of the condition right at a glance and really understand it. Spiro PD will also show you if you're having a decline in lung function before you actually begin to feel symptoms. This will help you anticipate and prevent exacerbations and asthma attacks, ultimately reducing those expensive ER trips. It allows you to track your trends, so it lets you and your doctor know if your treatment is working and if you're responding to your medication. You can view your lung health trends in a simple graph, which is color-coded, so again, you understand the severity of your condition right at a glance. It helps you remember, Spiro PD has a medication tracker that's built right in. You can set alarms to remind yourself when it's time to take your medication, to perform a breathing exercise, or to test your lung function. It helps improve communication with your doctor. So there's reports which are very easily shared with your doctor. All you have to do is plug a USB cable into your device and then plug it into your computer. The information that you get from Spiro PD will be uploaded to the computer in a PDF and you can send your doctor an email with this information right away. It's extremely easy to use. It has intuitive software. It includes a color touch screen. It has these soft, squeezable handles. So when you're expelling the air from your lungs, that will help you squeeze really hard and get all of that air out of your lungs. There's two handles, and that will help open up your chest cavity as you're expelling the air. There's a respiratory therapist, which is essentially built right into the device. By that, I mean there's an audible voice, which will coach you throughout the entire process. And then the front of the device includes these little blue LED lights. There's seven of them. The goal is to light all seven of them, and you'll see them lighting up as you're breathing air. This will encourage you to expel all of the air from your lungs. Now, Spiro PD captures several different measurements, and they all conform to the American Thoracic Society standards. It's looking and measuring at SBC, which stands for forced vital capacity. That's the total amount of air that you can expel from your lungs after you take a deep breath. It measures FEV1, which is forced expiratory volume in the first second. That's how much air you can breathe out, expel from your lungs just within the first second of your breath. It measures FEV1 slash FVC, the ratio between the two. So it's comparing how much air you've breathed out in total with how much air you've expelled in just that first second. It measures PEF, or peak expiratory flow. This is talking about the speed. This is the top speed, your fastest flow rate. It's going to measure your flow volume loop. That's the speed of air you exhale measured against the amount of air that you exhale. And you can see that in the little graph here. It's also going to measure your volume time curve. That's the amount of air you exhale against time. Again, you can see that in the graph. Also, in the third bottom graph, you can see the percent predicted. Your percent predicted is your spirometry test results compared to other healthy people who are the same age, gender, height, and ethnicity as you are, and that's very important because it determines the severity of your condition, your severity level. So this is what Spiro PD looks like. This is the design. We can start at the top and kind of move across in a circle. You'll see there's the on-off button. You have your mouthpiece. You have the USB connector port. That's where you'll plug your USB cable in to upload your data. The soft squeezable handles. The little blue indicator lights that are on the front of the device, which will light up as you're expelling the air from your lungs. The cradle that you can store your device in. And then also the color touchscreen. 
So initially, when you forget, first get the device, they'll ask you to enter your personal demographics or your personal information so that it's customized, especially to you. Um, and they'll navigate you through this entire process. It will ask you to enter your language, your unit of measure, your name, your date of birth, your gender, height and weight, and ethnicity, and of course the time and date as well. Now you can change these settings at any time whenever you'd like. Um, all you'll do is you'll go to the settings button and then you'll pick whether you would like to change your personal settings or the device settings. So let's say you need to change your height or your weight, especially for children who may be growing like weeds, you might have to change their height a couple times a year. So you'll just click on the personal settings. Now if you need to change the device settings, you'll click on that button and that will take you to another screen where you can choose which device settings you'd like to change. So maybe you want to change the volume, turn it up a little bit, maybe you want to make it a little bit brighter, you can go ahead and do that through the device settings. Once a year, you'll get a pop-up. It will say happy birthday, wishing you happy birthday, of course. And it will also ask you if you need to change your personal settings at this time. Okay, this is what the home screen looks like. So everything that you need to do with Fire OPD, the home screen will give you quick and easy access to. All the functions are available on the home screen. So what we'll do is we'll start the top section, move to the bottom section, or sorry, the middle section, and then go to the bottom. The top here, you have your upload data button, the top left. This is very important. This is what you'll click on when you want to upload your data to the computer and save and store it there or send the email to your doctor. You have your time and date and also your battery display. The middle section encompasses a couple buttons which we'll talk about in a little bit more detail in the next few slides, but you have your run test, you have your manage medications key, you have your view trends button, and then you also have the button to set alarms. And in the bottom section here, you can see the left and right scroll buttons. You'll use these to view completed past events and also future events. All right, so running the test. If you'd like to run the test from the home screen, you'll simply click on that button, and then you'll be coached throughout the entire process. So as soon as you click it, you'll wait a couple seconds, and you'll hear the audible voice or the respiratory therapist come on, and she'll tell you to take a deep breath. She'll tell you when to exhale. She'll tell you to keep going, and then she'll let you know when and if you've completed the test accurately. You'll also see the instructions on the screen, and you'll see the little diagram. And then you'll see the progressional motivational little blue LED lights on the front of the screen, which again will light up and encourage you to expel all of that air from your lungs. After you've completed your test accurately, you'll see your results. They'll be clearly presented with a severity level for ease of understanding. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll play a little video and you can take a look uh, in a little bit more detail at what running a test looks like. Exhaling too slowly, not exhaling completely. 
Sleep Leader. Easy, accurate, empowering. Spiro PD, the world's first personal spirometer. Okay, great. So I just want to add a tip or two with the run test section. It's really important when you're performing the test to make sure you sit up nice and straight and tall. Um, make sure that you do your breathing test in the same position every single time. So let's say you do it sitting down all the time. Make sure you continue to do the test while sitting down. Same thing if you're standing up while performing the test. Make sure you continue to do that as well. Just keep your chin up. You know, Try not to hunch over as you're breathing. And also remove any gum or objects that you have in your mouth. And that will make sure that you do the test um, accurately every time. Okay, so we can move on and talk about the Manage Meds button. The Manage Med button is used to enter new medications, and you can also view your medication history in this section. Now, you can use the little green arrows at the bottom to scroll over and scroll through all of your medications, all of the existing medications that you have in the device. If you'd like to enter a new medication, you'll simply click on New Med, and then it will guide you through the process. So we'll ask you to enter the name of the medication, the dosage, the reoccurrence. And then once the medication is entered, you can set a reminder or an alarm as to when it's time to take the medication. So let's say that every morning at 9.30 a.m. you're supposed to take your Advair, and 9.30 a.m. rolls around, you'll get a pop-up on your device. It will remind you that it's time to take your medication. At this point, what you can do is you can take your medication and then log that you took it, or you can snooze, or you can dismiss. So if you'd like to go back in and view your medication history, you can go ahead and do that, and it will show you here the, the red represents the medications that have been dismissed or missed, and then the white represents the medications that you did take and you logged your med. The View Trends key. The View Trends button allows you to view all test results in a graph or a table form. You can view your data over the last 7, 14, or 30-day snapshots, and then you can specify whatever date you'd like to begin that snapshot. You can also tap on key terms to view the definition. So let's say you forget what FVC means. You can simply click on the key term, and then you'll have a little pop-up, and it will give you the definition. Setting alarms. Alarms can be set for breathing tests, for medication reminders, like we just went over, or for breathing exercises. Alarms will play an audible bell will go off when the alarm is sounding. You'll see your little blue LED lights on the front of the device. They'll start flashing, and then you'll be presented with a pop-up message. And of course, once you get that pop-up message, you're able to log that you performed your breathing test, your breathing exercise, that you took your medication, or you can snooze or dismiss it. So uploading reports, remember this button is found at the top left of the home screen. Reports can be uploaded to your computer and then emailed to your doctor for review or uploaded to the Spiro PD directly in their office. If you don't have a computer at home, you can have the doctor do it in their office if they don't mind. And you can specify which report and the date range for your report. So let's say you want to take a look at your test results and maybe your medication history. You'll go ahead and you'll choose those options. Then you'll choose your date range, and then you'll click Upload Results. Just make sure that at that time you plug your device into the USB or the USB cable into your device and also into your computer. And then right away your computer will be uploaded with the PDF. You can save that, and you can also send your doctor the email. So physicians may want to use, a lot of them probably are going to want to use Spiro PD in a treatment plan once you have it. So Spiro PD has the color-coded severity levels, which of course are derived from your personal profile, all of your personal demographics. And you can talk to your doctor and come up with a treatment plan based on these color-coded severity levels. So let's just say that your normal is moderate. You're constantly getting your results are in the moderate level. So every day you look and it's moderate, 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 and then all of a sudden you see it dip into severe, that's something that you can discuss with your doctor that's probably going to be an alert a good time when it's you know time to give your doctor a call and let them know that all of a sudden I'm dipping down into the, to severe. My levels are changing. 
Um, you may also want to discuss with him how many times a month he'd like you to send him your report through an email. So for those of you who would like to get Spiro PD, it does require a prescription. You or your physician can send the prescription to PMD Healthcare through an email, a fax, through the regular mail, or you can take a picture with your smartphone and just send it to us through an email that way. Then you just have to place the order. So you can go to our website at spiropd.com, or you can call our customer care and support line at 888-PMD for you and speak with somebody live, and they'll walk you through the ordering process. So this completes our webinar. If you have any questions, feel free always to give us a call again at that 888-PMD for you number. You can also go to spiropd.com or follow us on Twitter and Facebook for upcoming information and events. Um, we will go ahead and include this webinar to our website so it's viewable to you at any time. Thank you all very, very much for your attendance, and we hope to see you again in the future. Hope everybody has a great day. Bye-bye.